What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a mid taper tutorial. My boy right here, we are going to be doing, um, or we're going to be taking down some of his curls about an inch. And I'm going to show you guys step by step on what I do to achieve this look. So uh, first off, we're going to start off by just going at it with our, our shears and just taking off all those uh, loose curls, just cleaning it up. We are going to be going in with the water after and getting more uh, detail precise with it, uh, with it on top. And with these curly tops, don't be afraid. Just go at it. Um, how how much ever or however much you think you need to take off, it, it's not gonna be exactly one inch because they are curls. But um, just eye it out a little bit, and then that's why we're gonna go with the water and just make sure you damp it up. And then we're gonna, we are gonna get more precise and do a little bit more uh, clean, cleaning up work on on top. So on the top, I'm just doing normal basic cutting. We're just gonna take it back all, the, uh, all throughout his head. I like to do like sections down the middle on the side and on the other side, and we just go straight back. And we are gonna cross check it a little bit. That way we are more, uh, we could tell exactly uh, how much we took off. And you'll be able to see right now when I go in. And don't be afraid guys, just go at it. Um, I know a lot of people are nervous with, with this type of uh, hair texture. He has like real fine coarsey hair as well. Uh, I don't know what's up with my boy, but yeah, he does have he does have like that that hair that fades real nice and nice and um, nice and full and full of a lot of hair, man. So what I'm doing right here, I am cross checking, guys. We are gonna be doing all across or all the top of his head and um, just uh, small little sections and just go at it and see whatever is sticking out and just cut those right off. So right after we do that, we are gonna um, we are gonna blow dry his hair. I like to put that ele or not elegance uh, level three hair serum, and um, just to protect it from damaging the hair. I to me the blow dryer is kind of your best friend. I use it a lot, and it's really helped me uh, shape up the hair before I start any type of fading. I just like doing it before, and it's really what's helped me out. And um, let me know let me know what you guys think of it of uh, cutting the hair on top and blow drying first if it's not for y'all. And then right here, I am taking the clip over comb. And with the clip over comb, you don't want to dig into it because you will create chunks and take off a lot of chunk or a lot of his hair. We are what, what we're doing right here. We're just um, shaping up his head. That way we can get um, our nice fading area nice and cleaned up. That way we can see how um, the overall haircut is gonna look with his head or with the shape of his head. As you guys can see, I'm just I'm, I'm pulling it out. That way we can uh, get his head shape going. A nice type of um, nice type of fade with this. Uh, you don't want to just dig it in because you want to create a nice head shape that or a nice blend that's gonna fit his head shape as well. And guys, everything I'm using is gonna be listed down below. That way you guys can check it out. Um, all these products, all the, the clippers, the combs, and everything will be down below in the description. So now what we're going to do is with our number two guard, lever open. No, okay, no, I believe I have it closed right here. We are going to clean up his side just to debulk it. It's not that much. I already debulked it quite a bit with the clipper over comb, but right here is just cleaning everything up. I, like, I really like to go with like a number two just so... The shorter the hair, the better it's gonna look, more defined. If you guys, um, with all these type of hairstyles, a lot of people like to leave like a lot of hairs, and and the thing is, with that is that all these hairs like to move and take uh, its own route. When you trim them down like to a solid number, it'll look just more cleaner when you come in with the lineup and everything. So right after that, we are gonna be setting in our first bald guideline. You can give it a little curve, it really doesn't matter to me um, when I do this, but it's really up to y'all. Um, when you do curve it, it does leave the lineup a little bit darker. It just depends really how you're gonna attack the fade. But right here, I'm just cleaning everything up, making sure everything's down to the to the trimmer. And these are my babyless uh, zero gap trimmers. I got those off the app, uh, they are customized. If you, for everybody that asks me, that I do go on the Babyless app and order my clippers on there. And then right here, I'm just hitting with my Babyless shavers and we just got everything down to uh, skin. So now with our number one guard, lever fully closed, we can create about an inch guideline. Do not be afraid to keep the blades flat and um, just make sure you got everything um, down to a number one guard. Lever fully closed. 
um, make sure you with this step you do want to do like a circular motion because uh, that way we do um, leave the line up a little bit dark so now with our half guard we are going to be closing the lever going and the, and copying the same exact thing we just did with the number one do not be afraid literally when i tell you guys to copy the same thing please do not stress it copy the exact same thing i just did with the number one guard instead of the number one we're doing with our half guard lever fully closed and doing the same thing keep the blade flat guys do not do a lot of flicking just keep the blade flat So now we're taking out that bottom line and with this one I do use the Oster fast feeds. I you can use any type of clipper but to me personally personally I like these right here because I can hear them. Not really the fade masters. Uh, they are they're pretty heavy compared to these Osters so I like the Osters because um, you can hear everything when the hair's coming off. And of course with the fade with the fade masters too the Andes you can too but with these they're super light and uh, it has a ceramic blade on it. So right here what I'm doing, I'm just cleaning up everything that my clipper didn't get. In some cases, it will take it out completely, but mo I like my, uh, my bottom line to look super blurry. So I'll just come back and clean it up with my zero gap trimmers. So now what we're going to do is go with our one and a half guard lever fully closed. And we're going to do the same exact thing, about another, another guideline on top, about an inch. Keep the blade flat. In some cases, it's not going to, to show like a, such a harsh guideline because it, keep in mind, we did blend it out with the number two or we did debulk with the number two. So this is the one and a half guard lever fully closed and we're creating about another inch guideline. And even if you guys can't see it, make sure you kind of like imagine it, like the line on there and just go with it because that's gonna be, that's gonna be where your blend, the main part of your blend's gonna be at. So right after that, we come in with our uh, one guard lever fully open and we're gonna fade down now. We're gonna start to sand with the blade, or the, the, the fade, not the blade. And um, we keep it open and then we close it about halfway. Then we're gonna go a little bit lower than that. And then we fully close it and we're gonna just attack that middle ghost line. As you guys can tell, the blend's already starting to come together real nicely, real, real nice and, and neat. That's just the word I like, and that's the word I'm going for. The, I like my blends to look real neat, nice, and um, not all over the place. A lot of people like to blend, super spread it out, or however. I have nothing against that, but to me, I've always learned um, to blend like this, just to keep all my guidelines neat and everything. And just imagine, or not imagine, but picture the guidelines being like, like a stamp, just stamping on your guidelines. And right here, where, where I went to. I went back to the half guard and we're just cleaning everything up. Right here I'm basically detailing. You're already going to be basically done with your blend. Now we're just going to start detailing a little bit. As you guys can see I like to use my cor corner a lot with this step right here because you, you can push up the blend on this one so be, you got to be real careful guys with that, that step. Just make sure you don't push it up and once it's out, once, out, once the dark spots are out just leave it alone. So right after we finish that, we're gonna go to our number two guard, and I just cleaned it up some more just to play it safe. I, I'm always I like to just play it safe and everything, make sure everything's down to what I need it to be. And then we're gonna come in with our half guard, or not a half guard, a one and a half guard lever fully open, and I close it about a quarter, and we're just gonna go right um, underneath the two and just clean up the little dark spots. And as well with the number one guard, right here at this point, I'm already done with my blend, but I'm just detailing all the little dark spots that I missed. And I usually detail with the one guard uh, just to clean everything up nice and smooth with the bulk with all the darkness. So right here we did take the number or the one and a half guard and close and I do bring down his lineup just so I can get that crispy lineup. And I do add hairspray. It doesn't matter what hairspray you use to be honest. They're all the same thing. It's going to lock in the hairs. Spray some cold air on it and it will lock in the hairs. That way you can come in with your, your trimmers and get that nice crispy lineup. I do use enhancements guys, I just usually use Kiss Express and mix it with half water with a little air compressor and that's all. 
that's all I use. I don't really buy those those ones that come mixed already because I like it a certain uh t or a certain way. Just more more um more thicker than watery, and a lot of those products come in watery. And those barber pencils, they will be on that list down below. Everything will be listed down below, guys. Where um you guys can get it. I usually get all my stuff up the, through Amazon, and that's uh that's where I get the barber pencils. Where everybody asks me where I get them, but that's that's exactly where I get them. Literally the only spot. <laughs> They're called like Barber Eyes, but they'll be down below. That way you guys can check them out. And I'm just going to fast forward this side for you guys. I mean, I already, got sh I already showed you guys the other side, and it's going to be the same exact thing. I do use the Faded Culture Barber Razors and Capes. If you guys want, you, there is. I do have a discount code for y'all. It's uh, at Noel FC. I'll have a list down below th as well. And you guys can get 10% off anything you guys order with uh, Faded Culture. Hey, shout out Faded Culture. They are they're killing their they're killing the game, man. I appreciate y'all. Shout out Sergio. Shout out Adrian. So right here, guys, the back. We are we are gonna taper it up. He is getting a design, but I'm just gonna sh do the 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 fade first. But I set in my first guideline, and like I told you guys before, I like to go just straight across. I don't like to do all that curving stuff because I don't know. I was just I just I was just taught to learn. It's not, I've tried the, the the curve type of guideline where you leave the edges dark, but I just think something like this looks a lot cleaner, more more uh, precise. And right here we're going with our number one guard, lever fully closed, and we're gonna create about an inch guideline. Go all throughout the back of his head, all the way to the edges, guys. Do not be afraid. Just keep the blade flat and keep it nice and even and consistent. Now we're gonna go in with our half guard lever fully closed. And like I keep telling you guys, I can't stress this enough. It's crazy because people will always ask me, can't you just go in with the half guard instead of the one? I mean, yeah, you can, to be honest. But the way I've done that before, I've, I've tried to break down this this technique in certain other ways to, to see if I could like skip some steps. But with this step, this is what leaves that, that bottom like real smooth. As you guys can see, it just soften everything up. And when you come back to take take off that bottom line, it's literally butter. It's like no no hard work. A lot of people struggle with the bottom line, trying to get everything super solid with it. But what this technique does, going with the one first, it sets everything up. That way you um you guys can the detailing is gonna be super more simple and less um less harder. That's why I do these steps. That way you guys can um that way it's easier for you guys to blend out thing, or dark spots and air, less detailing so right here i am coming with my zero gap trimmers and we're just cleaning everything up that way it looks even extra smoother and now we're going with our one and a half guard lever fully closed and create another inch guideline right here in the back you will be able to tell more of what i'm talking about uh, adding another guideline it is going to mark a lot a lot better on here on the back because there is more 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 weight on top so you'll be able to see the guideline a lot better throughout the back make sure like towards the top where it's more darker and more fuzzier you scoop it out a little bit when you go uh, that way you can contrast the the fade as well into the to the heaviness to, the, to a lot of the the crows on the boat and that way you fit its uh, sh head shape right here we're gonna go with our one guard lever fully open and you're gonna copy the same exact thing you just did with your one and a half keep the blade flat and literally what you did with the one and a half you're gonna do the same exact thing with the one, number one guard this is the technique that I use for all my haircuts it works for anything I'm not I can show you guys other techniques if you guys would like um, but this is just my my the best the best technique I got the best phase out of and I, I could show you guys other ones but I really want other people because a lot of people don't really use this type of technique and I really want um, people to see how, how simple it is once you learn this technique you'll realize how easy it is to break down hair right here so we started open then we went halfway a little bit lower almost to the top and then we did uh, we closed it fully and we just attacked that middle ghost that middle uh, ghost line as well So now 
as you guys can see it looks pretty faded already but i do see a little bit of dark spots and to to take those out you come in with your half guard lever fully closed and use your corners and then just go right on the little dark spots and flick them out be careful with this step because you can push up the fade so be real gentle with this step and that's all you need because when i told you guys, when i told you guys about the the detailing part as you guys can see there's less room for air right here and that's why i like doing this type of technique just like that we already faded everything out now we're just going to connect the bottom to the top with our number two guard lever open i do close it about a quarter you can keep it open to be honest and just go straight up i just got so used to keep or closing everything about a quarter it's kind of a weird habit but I've, I've always had it and just go straight up and you're gonna do this uh the same thing with the one and a half guard lever open and i close it about a quarter like i said it's up to y'all if y'all really want to close it a quarter and um just go right at right uh where the dark the dark spots are at and just right underneath it and it should bring everything together um very 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 consistently and clean so I do, sp I do bring down his edges with the one and a half I, and I spray a little bit of hairspray just to lock it in um, for his edges. That way we can get a crispy lineup. And he did want a design guys. I usually don't do them but right here I, I kept a, a simple design. Uh, nice and natural. I didn't enhance it and I added a little bit of uh, curling mousse right here. And just in case you guys forgot, this is what my client came in looking like. And this is what I came up with. I think it came out super dope, super crispy. Edge ups looking good. You got nice simple design in the back. Nothing too crazy. Curls looking good, looking solid. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and let me know what you guys want to see next week. I am dropping consistently every week for y'all. And I appreciate everybody that tunes in and watches watches my videos that uh, wanting to learn the whole overall goal is for, uh, to teach, teach you guys my uh, simple steps to get better in this industry. Other than that, I'm the World Blends and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.